In this video, we are going to calculate the volume of objects. Something that looks like in this picture where the cross-sectional area may be changing. And uh, we are going to use the method of slicing to figure out this. Now, all this will become clear as we move along the video. Okay, so clearly you see in this solid that the cross-sectional area is changing. Like for example, if we were to take any plane, if we were to cut the y-axis perpendicular to the y-axis, uh, draw any plane here. Okay, this plane would include some shape of the solid and that area as we move the plane uh, along, you know, the y, along the x-axis, we see that that plane would cut through the solid and those each of the the slices would have a different area so we need to have a method of figuring out volumes of this kind okay now if we had a solid where the area of cross section did not change so for example let's say that we have some area here and then you know let's say that the same area just you know continued on this side where the area did not change okay for uh, so and let the area be some a and that the thickness be some h okay or for example if we have a something that's that's shaped more like a cylinder that we already know once again area a of cross section a height h or more like also a rectangular box okay that goes up and its area is a and some height h in each of these cases if the cross-sectional area does not change okay then the volume could simply be found by using the formula v equals a times h so essentially find the area of the cross-section multiplied by h okay so in our solid the area of cross-section is clearly changing so what do we do okay so we'll apply essentially the idea that we applied when we were doing uh, integration Okay, so what we'll first do is take the interval A to B and we will break it up into many, many pieces. Okay, and let's say that one such interval is going to be, say, xi minus 1 to xi. Right, now what we'll do is we will find two cross sections within this interval so let's say that the blue one that we already have is one of the cross sections and then the second cross section would be say somewhere here okay now what we're going to do is we will take you know we'll make xi and xi minus one very close to each other such that in going from xi to xi minus one the area of cross section does not really change by a lot okay so we'll assume that the area of cross section is the same if that's the case then the volume of this ith region okay would simply be equal to the area of the of that slice okay at say xi for example okay and multiplied by the thickness of the slice which will be delta xi we'll just call this difference delta xi Okay, so this would be the volume of this this really thin slice. Now, in order to find the volume of the entire object, all we need to do now is sum up, okay, all our delta v i. So i goes from some say one to n. Uh, we can rewrite the summation a of x i, and then delta x i, and then i going from one to n. Okay, now this will give us the approximate volume of the solid okay but we want the true volume and in order to find the true volume all we need to do is make n so let's just call this vn okay so we make n really large so make n go to infinity which means the thickness of each of these slices okay becomes closer and closer to zero and in that limit we can replace delta xi with a dx uh, a will just be the area at that particular value of x and then the summation itself gets replaced by the integral so we get v is equal to integral from some a to b and then a of x times okay or a the integral with respect to x so all these components just get replaced by their you know respective values when we go from the limit you know from some finite limit to some infinite limit 
So essentially, finding the volumes of all these objects, okay, uh, we take the slice, we find the area, cross-sectional area of the slice, and once we know the area of the slice, we can integrate it and obtain the answer. So let's take an example. And let us find, say, the, let's take the case of a cone. Okay, let's say that the radius of the cone uh, is some r, okay, and let us say that this distance from here to here is some h, and we want to find the volume of this cone. Now, I know that uh, from elementary math, you already know what the volume formula is, but let's figure it out using this method of slicing. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll slice this cone, once again, and take a slice here, okay, uh, some very thin slice all right and uh, what we'll do is we'll find first the area of this slice as a function of some x okay and once we have the area then we can basically just use the formula and figure this out okay now to find the area of this slice we know that we realize that the cross section is a circle so we know the formula to find the area of a circle we need to know the radius of this slice Okay, now to find the radius of the slice, we'll use similarities of triangles and we will have R over X is equal to capital R over H because we see that this these two triangles here are going to be similar, the, the little triangle here and then the big triangle here. Okay, so both these triangles are similar to each other. All right, so now we're in business. We get, so this tells us that R, uh, little r is equal to capital R over h times x okay so we have the radius once you have the radius we can find the area of that cross section which is a function of x okay and this is equal to pi little pi oh, sorry no, pi times little r square which is pi times r square over h square times x square okay so we're very close to the answer now so now the true volume that we're looking for is going to be integral from 0 all the way to h a of x with respect to x which is equal to integral 0 to h let's substitute for h which is pi r square over h square times x square with respect to x now we can pull out pi r square and h square because those are all constants and then integrate x square from 0 all the way to h. This becomes pi times r square over h square x cube over 3 from 0 all the way to h and this becomes pi r square over h square h cube over 3 which is equal to 1 third pi r square h okay which is the formula for the volume of a cone so we know this so what we did is we used the method of slicing we sliced it up we knew that the, each of the cross sections were circles so we found the area of the circle and once we knew the area of the cross section we find the volume very easily so hopefully that helped and the next video we'll repeat you know we'll do another problem uh, where we will need some cross-sectional stuff